Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we had a, an event yesterday, January the 2nd, 2014. That's right, 2014. I want to thank Stuart, Pastor Stuart Livingston there in Scotland who sent this to me. But according to spaceweather.com, a small asteroid, a small asteroid hit the Earth yesterday. A newly discovered asteroid called 2014-AA hit Earth's atmosphere on January the 2nd, 2014. The space rock about the size of a small car. What? When you said it was small, I was thinking, you know, something like this. You know, this is a uh, actual piece of a meteorite that uh, hit the Earth in Arizona. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you say small asteroid, small meteor, I'm thinking, no, that's probably enough. But what? The size of a car? Well... Um, it, dis it disintegrated over the Atlantic Ocean about 3,000 kilometers east of Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, the InfoSound records interpreted, in interpreted excuse me, by Peter Brown of the University of Western Ontario, Canada suggested an impact energy between 500 and 1,000 tons of TNT. That, folks, what? That's a lot of dynamite. What? That is really, that is, uh, you know what? That's a lot of dynamite. Uh, nevertheless, a cosmic terms, this was a relatively minor impact that did no damage to our planet. Well, thank God. I mean, thank God if that thing had hit in a city or hit in a town or hit on a, a building or something the size of a car. Would have done an uh, unbelievable amount of damage. Well, big. Also, we also had a big sunspot, and um, today there are several sunspots on the sun right now. As a matter of fact, there was some major flares yesterday, and we had a 9.9 .9 M class solar flare yesterday. The sunspot AR 1944, which emerged over the sun's eastern limb on January the first, is big and potentially dangerous. This, uh, the complex region contains more than a dozen dark cores, and the leading spot is big enough to swallow two planet Earths on the sun. That's how big this sunspot is. That is huge. Uh, also, AR 1944 is so large that sky watchers on Earth are beginning to notice it as a blemish on the solar disk at sunset. In other words... The sun is turning a little dark there in, in that sunspot, AR uh, 1944. So keep an eye on these things. The Bible said in the book of Luke. Oh, well, you know, we get it all through the scripture, of course, in Revelation as well. But obviously, uh, we know it says it in Joel 2. We know it says it in Acts 2. But it also says it in Luke 21. And I'll read what he said as one of the signs of the end times is Luke 21, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man, <laughs> I love that, coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Are you saved? It's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. We're truly living in the last days. I mean, today's news and events, they are so prophetic. I mean, evil, the Bible said they'll be calling evil good and good evil. Signs in the sun, signs on the earth. Um, matter of fact, there was a, a, oh, the Salvation Army. Salvation Army uh, thrift store in Jackson, Mississippi has been engulfed in flames this morning. A large fire destroyed the Salvation Army thrift store uh, in Jackson, Mississippi. Additional firefighters were called 
this morning on January 13, 2014, uh, trying to help extinguish the fire which broke out at 6 a.m. this morning. Captain Ken Chapman, Ken Chapman of the Salvation Army said the employee walked into the building Friday morning, heard a loud pop. He said an electrical box inside the building caught fire and the flames quickly spread. Well, there you go. I mean, it's so bitter. Folks, it was, it was 13 below zero this morning when I went out to the car. Are you serious? 13 below. I looked at the, you know, the temperature on the car when I started up. I always looked to see what the temperature is. It's very accurate, too. It's always very accurate. And I looked at things. I had to take a double look. 13 below zero. What? I mean, but the, uh, it's winter. What do you want me to do? It's, it's January. Yeah, but man. I'll be right back for folks with an with an update on Ariel Sharon and the biblical prophecies of the end time peace agreements that's taking place right now. The the covenant with many, which it says in Daniel nine twenty seven. I'll be right back. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss today's show. Do not miss today's show from twelve noon to three p.m. Eastern. That's twelve noon to three p.m. Eastern. At my website, you can watch it live, just like I am right here, with a chat room right next to the screen. My website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.